What are you doing, Laney? Man, some vermin got in our trash <laughs> bag last night. Some you guys, hey. we are in Mississippi right now. This little is chilly. It little is a, chilly. It is chilly. And it may be a little chilly to you, but it's cold as all. Yeah, Get right. out to me. <laughs> uh, we just came up here to have a good time. Last year we hunted with these guys, had a blast, and um, we came back for more. You were you here at the right time? I know. Yesterday it was like weekend. yeah. Yesterday it was sixty-five degrees. Yeah. Today it's thirty-one. So uh, hopefully I got enough clothes on. We'll talk later, but we're heading to the stand. You know, my entire life I've been really active. I eat good and I'm pretty healthy. But you know what? I've started to gain weight. For most of my life I've been about 200 pounds and I'm all the way up to 225. That's where Noom comes in. It's not a diet, it's a tool and it helps you better understand your relationship with food. It's a psychological approach. It's information based. For example, why would you eat a grape over a raisin? I don't know, but Noom explains that to you. When they explain it, they explain how it works. Then they put you with a coach, somebody that is personable to you and can help hold you accountable and help encourage you, answer questions, and is just there for you in this journey. And it's a system of positivity that makes you happy about what you're doing. And then as you start to see the physical and emotional and psychological changes in your body, you're so happy about it. If you would like to find out more about Noom, click on the link in the description below or go to noom.com forward slash deer meat for dinner. It's quick, it's easy, they're gonna help you develop a plan, and they're gonna change your trajectory so that you live a happy, vibrant life long into the future. It is chilly. The game. <laughs> Let's cover all of it. I love this thing. Bah! Bah! Two hundred seventy-five yards, left-handed, out of a box blind, meant for one person. Did it look like I hit him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice looking deer, dude. <laughs> I looked through the scope. All I could see are antlers. I don't know nothing, but I know one thing. He's big, boy. Yeah, when I first saw him, this his head was right here. There's hair. I don't really like that. The deer was standing right here, and we know we found a little bit of blood going that way. But I was all the way back there in that blind, way on over there. And whenever I was focused on the deer, I couldn't tell that there were a handful of branches out here. So we don't know if I nicked a branch or what, but we're gonna give them a little bit of time 
and we'll come in here and see if we can't trail this deer off. That is a wide deer. That is man. a big deer, dude. Is he a 10 or an 8? He's or? an 8 or a 10. <laughs> he's big. I think he's just a giant 8. How far did y'all go in at all? No. Good. Even if you were low, that bullet should not, you know, fragments all up in his. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. going to be good. He's so good. we are all anxious to go. I'm nervous. I'm just going to do something. <laughs> He ran the town, he got some flour, we're making sausage gravy and biscuits and I'm all winning. Biscuits are right in there, they're getting right. Just gonna put some flour in here. About, about like that. And then you want that flour just to start getting absorbed into here. Oh yeah! So. <laughs> we're getting really close here, folks! My favorite part. Got our biscuits? Yes, sir. How many of y'all know, know what I'm doing right now? If you're from the South, you definitely know what I'm about to do. Take, take this, you gotta get a biscuit. Then you come over here, get some of that loving goodness, right there. Put you some brown, or this is actually milk gravy, not brown gravy. Put it on top there. This backstrap, it's actually leftover backstrap from last night. Just like that. That's a healthy camp this breakfast. Biscuits, homemade gravy, and backstrap. You know where that meat came from? Them woods out there. Here you go, Lainey. Thank you very much I'm for in. having Thank me. Thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. Just what I needed. For sure. Mm. My grandmother would be proud. <laughs> All right, y'all. We, uh, we have exhausted our efforts. We've called in reinforcements, baby. Yeah, baby. We called in the trail dog. The dog man's here. Like a cavalry. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> a lot of you know that my dog, Tebow and I, we trailed up tons of deer for people. Son, this is the you. first time I've called a dog for one of my deer. We got back up. Oh, look All at right. that pretty little <laughs> cur dog. What's up, man? I'm Robert. Clark. Zach hey, Clark. Curly. Nice to meet you. What's up, folks? I'll you alone with that little you look familiar. <laughs> no. We weren't in jail, were we? No. no I'm just kidding with you, man. All right, okay. boy. I'm just going to leave my gun here. Uh, get a, I'll I bring it. I want you to take it. Yeah. yeah. Just in case. There you go. I see the white hair. Yeah. She smelled the deer. No doubt. Yeah, I see the white hair. That's definitely That is a good sign, y'all. She's on the trail there, the deer went just like that. I don't know how close you'd like to stay behind her, but I'm, I'm just behind okay. you. Yeah, I like to, I mean, I like to let her line on out and I just kind of watch her. Right. I like to say, she might come back and circle and circle. I like to let her just kind of do it herself until. Yeah, we right here, she's. 86 yards in front of us, we're just kind of walking the track. I mean, she's all in fresh scent now. Deer, she's just smelling as hard as she can. <laughs> What we want to see is line out of this area. Find it. Or it's moving water. I don't know how scent does in the creek. You know, if it's stagnant, it puts it. Find 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 it. I'm just gonna wait over walk and look on them leaves over there. You're just waiting for that one deep hole. <laughs> So 
So we've come about 300 yards. Dog came down to the creek and the deer, dog knew the deer crossed the creek, but eventually crossed and now we've got blood on the other side. So I'm telling you guys, it gives me chills on the back of my neck, like watching a good dog work. And that is a good dog. So are those pants waterproof or are they water resistant? These water resistant. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. I would throw you my boots, but I've got an eight and a 13. We're good. I'm a 14. <laughs> you got an eight and a 13? Yeah. Oh, because you messed up foot. Yeah. <laughs> one's for speed, one's for jumping. What you do, stomp out forest fires with these things? Yeah, <laughs> okay, y'all, everyone made it safely. Let's see if I can make it safely. <laughs> Stay. Beautiful. Ah, touching. If I was playing horseshoes, bro, that'd have been two ringers. All right. Dude, this is slippier, slippery than hey, monkey dog's snot. Barking. Dog's barking. Dog's barking. Put one in it. Good dog. Good, dog. Good dog. Good dog. Did you get all that off? Hey. I wish y'all could have seen my, because I was behind him. Here. The deer's here. Did you hear me screaming? Right You're going, kill him. Kill him. I'm yelling. Just shoot the deer. I saw one got one in it, and I shook one in, and I was like, is still on? I didn't, because I didn't know you had his gun. Thank God I walked over here with it. Okay. I got Sweet. Dude. I don't know where she's gonna put this deer head at, but you're gonna have to put find somewhere in your doghouse for a really nice buck that you found. Good That's lord. A hell of a recovery. That was a great deer too. Thank y'all. Dude. I was, that's why I started walking in So, so if y'all are wondering why we're talking about was it on fire, in a situation like this, when we're in thick woods and there's multiple people, I keep the gun unloaded but on fire. So if it happens, boom, but it's safe until I want it to be not safe. Yeah. Yeah. I say we all go back to camp, build a campfire and clean a deer and cook backstrap. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what yeah, we like to do. And uh, we're gonna give, we're, what's that dog's name? Daya. Daya. Daya, you're getting prime cut, whatever you want. It's yours. <laughs> I got plans for dinner. <laughs> Uh, no, we don't. <laughs> you do now. What's your first name again? Clark. Clark, I want to tell all you guys something, especially if you hunt in and around dogs or groups of people. So many times when a deer is killed like that, it's like, well, I shot him first, I shot him last. You would have never killed that deer. Man, we're just hunters. We're all on the same team. I don't care whose deer it is. It's a beautiful deer and it's a great story. It's more that dog and your y'all's deer than my deer. I'm just a part of it, man, and I'm so honored to be here. I wouldn't even be here if it weren't for Laney and Jesse inviting us up, man. That's what friends are for. <laughs> I got wet feet. 
better than no feet at all. Hey, y'all ever wonder what we do at deer camp? This. No, I gotta grip my knife. I can't not help. <laughs> right? What happened to the one that was sitting right here? Oh, yeah. The zipper knife? When we were all kids and we all started hunting, other than you, because you're still kind of in that, you know, just out of high school phase. I hope he hits you. <laughs> if he doesn't, we're all going to talk about it for a long time. I may have not killed him, but I may have sure made him unhappy. We wouldn't have got him if you hadn't known what you did. <laughs> well, I would... Call me the spotter. <laughs> How many deer have you trailed? Uh, I found probably in the 60s this year. This year he's trailed 60s. <laughs> and for how many? Hundreds okay. In the Let's just say this year. How many of those 60 were for people that you were friends with? Not very, not very many. How many were they for people that you didn't even know? 90% probably. And how many of those people did you charge to show up? I, I just, I don't, whatever they want to tip, that's fine, but I don't. That's what hunting is all about, you guys. He showed up not expecting a thing. He just showed up to help. That's what people, that's what humanity is all about. When you see somebody that needs something, if you can, help them. That's what being a good human being is all about. Us being out hunters, the number one thing that I love about Mossy Oak is the fact that they are a corporation of people that want to make it better for everybody. You, the number one thing Laney always says, leave it better than you found it. That means so much to me. And you know, for everyone here, it's an honor to spend a day at deer camp, hunting, trailing, cleaning, and we're about to cook. See this? That's a back strap. Front shoulder, back strap. Earlier, when we were in there cooking that sausage and gravy, that's what we were eating was back strap. I don't want to cook a meal just to make a video. We've already cooked and you've already hung out with us for probably about 20 or 30 minutes now. And for that, I want to say thank you very much. If you want to do this, if you want to be a part of stuff like this, look into hunting. Maybe this is something you've done all your life. Maybe this is something that you just say, I need to find out more about it. And if you do, man, go to mossyoak.com. Look, there's so many organizations out there that can help you become a hunter. And I'm telling you, it's not about killing. It's about this life. And it's a life that I'm proud to be a part of, man. And each one of y'all, I really appreciate your help today. Uh, I think I was least responsible for anything <laughs> here. I would absolutely like to thank Miss the dog that yeah. just did such a She's wonderful awesome. job. Dea. Miss Dea. Dea. So that's all we got for you today, man. There's so much more. We're going to be hunting ducks and squirrels, and Austin's probably going to be hunting deer. But uh, that's all I got for today, man. Thanks for hanging out with us. We gone.